Jaguar is claiming that their new XC redefines the performance saloon market. And really it was theirs to redefine because they defined it well and truly in the first place with this, the Mark II Jaguar. Arguably the most beautiful saloon car ever built. The maker of British motoring mythology and the getaway car of choice for the original folk hero of the TV show Britcop, the bank robber. Yes, this is a beautiful car, but it's also well and truly guilty. The Mark II Jag is a flawed hero. Remember watching the Sweeney and being torn between wishing you were lining up alongside Regan in the flying squad and hitting the streets with the swag as the villain? Didn't it always come down to the car? But why did the Mark II Jag become so popular with the baddies? What made it so good? Well, it wasn't their ability to carry the loot. The Mark II Jaguar has a, a well-documented history of popping its boot without warning. Not ideal in a car chase through the misty streets of London, chased down by a rusty-coloured Ford Granada. <laughs> This example has the powerful 3.8 litre straight six engine. It also has a synchro box and retrofitted power steering. All very comfortable, practical and refined. It doesn't exactly shout gangster from the spec sheet. And nor does it from the reels of film history, which tell us that the villainous Mark IIs were more often than not the 3.4 litre engine variety. It might be significant, it might not. But ignoring all of that, as a classic car, this Mark II Jag really does have it all. And this one looks, sounds and goes just like a 1960s getaway car. The Mark II Jag demands that you are a certain type of person. The throttle pedal is heavy as if it was designed to be operated by heavy aristocratic footwear. The indicators are slow and purposeful, reminding you that you turn when you are ready. And even the lighter socket has an air of self-confidence about it. Very specifically, this is a cigar lighter. What type of villain was this car designed for? Let's not forget, even the romanticized bank robber of 1960s heist films was a working class folk hero. So what was it about the Mark II Jaguar that made it a hero of the criminal underworld? It's the batch. For all its differences to the original, the remake of the Sweeney sees Ray Winston's Regan get behind the wheel of a fast Ford to chase down the baddies in, yes, you guessed it, a Jag. If you are a film or a TV director and you need the audience to identify and associate with the villain, pretty much the only device you have to do that with is the villain's car. Like the 60s TV cop show villain, the Mark II Jag was indeed a timeless classic. In fact, you could argue it was ahead of its time in many ways. Certainly this 1965 model thought it was advanced enough to have to warn following drivers how good its braking performance was. Though if the following driver could read the warning on the bumper, it was probably too late. There's another reason that the Mark II Jaguar was ahead of its time, and it's a strange one. That fuel filler flap does not look like it came out of the 1960s. It's like something which came off Ford Mondeo. The rest of the car is so beautifully crafted that you'd expect a protruding shiny chrome filler cap. Not that. A well-heeled British sports saloon at home on the corrupt, seedy streets of the TV cop show city. A beautifully designed icon of classic motoring with a Ford Mondeo fuel filler flap. A car which is most commonly seen in the hands of the flat cap brigade at car shows and yet makes you feel edgy and contemporary like a cobbled street hero. As soon as you put on a piece of headgear designed to keep your nose and ears warm at the same time. I get the feeling that the Mark II Jaguar has never quite been what it was intended to be.